Hello everybody, today we're gonna work on a GE dishwasher. The problem with this guy is that the, the control is not working. It's not lighting up. The power is on, but it, nothing is happening. So before, um, what I would do is reset the breaker, reset the power, and unplug it for a few minutes, then plug it back, then it would come back, and then it was good for another month. Uh, but this is the third time that it does it, so it's not coming back anymore. So now we're going to replace uh, the control at the front. The dishwasher model number is GDF610PMJ2ES. And the part we're going to replace is the WD. 21X23462. So the first thing we have to do is to set our control board to the personality that belongs to it. This uh, this comes with a control and it's a, ta a table and we have to look for the model number that belongs to your dishwasher. In this case is this GDF610. So that's it, and this is these are the switches one, two, four, and eight, and we have to put them the way it is here. The num the number one is gonna be on the lower part. The number two covering both pins, the fourth covering only the lower pin, and the number eight covering both pins. So these are the switches. You have to grab them and then pull them, pull them up, and then pull them wherever they belong. So you need a slick fingers or a needle nose, and this is how it looks once it's done. So I'm under the sink, and uh, we're gonna do three things here. We're gonna shut the water off first. And that's usually the hot, the hot side, the hot water. And now we're gonna remove the water supply line. We're gonna disconnect the dishwasher. In this case, we have an outlet under the sink. At the bottom of the dishwasher in the in the toe kick, there are two screws. It could be uh, one a, one a quarter, or it could be Phillips, or it could be anything. Before we remove the door, we have to pull this connector. Just be careful because that's attached to the door and we're going to remove the door so you have to be careful just put it aside. So now what we have to do is open the door for the dishwasher and we're going to remove two screws. There's one here and the other one is here. So we're going to remove these two screws. We're going to Pull away, we're going to right and left, and just gently pull out. Okay, now on the, on the left and on the right, there's a hinge with a spring. We're going to unhook this to release. We're going to release it. And we're going to do the same on the other side. We're gonna pull on the spring and then unhook. Now we, you're gonna grab the door with both hands and then you're gonna pull towards you a little bit. You're gonna open the door and then you're gonna pull up and away. And look what's gonna happen on the hinge side. So we're gonna remove. And we're gonna grab the door 
and we're, we're gonna put it on a padded flat surface. So I just put a blanket on top of here and I'm gonna put it on top of here. We're gonna turn it around. Now, uh, we have the right hinge and the left hinge. So we're gonna remove two screws that are a quarter of an inch. So that's one screw. And then the other one. Now remember the bigger one goes at the bottom. And then we're gonna remove the hinge. And then just grab the hinge and slide it out. Now, this is the back of the door. We're going to remove this vent and we're going to go counterclockwise. And then put it aside. And now we have to release the front from the back. So you're going to grab one side from here and the other side here and you're going to pull away the plastic part towards the top there you go you heard it then do the other side and now this door is gonna and this part is gonna be loose we're gonna grab it and turn it upside down and this is the part we want because the control is right here and now we have to remove this front panel, the whole thing. And we're gonna start on the side by lifting, by lifting this up. Right here, this lip, just like this. You see how it lifts up? But you have to be careful. Don't just pull up yet. We have one, two, three, four tabs that we have to undo. So if you see here and here, you're gonna pull from here and undo that one. There you go. So that's that. And we have to do this one as well. Look at that. Now that we have all tabs, we're gonna move. And that's gonna be right there. So the control was like that. We're gonna be careful, turn. Be careful with that wire, with that bundle of wires. Just jiggle it and pull out. And then this is the part, of course, that we're going to replace. Now we're going to grab, see this is the position it had. We're going to do the same. We're going to put it the lower part first in. And then look for these openings where the screw goes. And then so just push in and then down. Okay, on this part, let's use a nut driver so we don't break it. Go easy, don't tighten it too hard. Don't break it. Now we're gonna plug this connector here. It has to click. Now we have to be careful with this bunch of wires. So we're gonna turn like that, standing up like that, and then turn it like that. And then we're gonna clip it back where it was before. 
this goes here in this opening we're gonna hook it first from here and then we're gonna push it and click it do you hear that it was very easy so we're gonna leave this like that we're gonna grab this part like that and then go like this you're gonna put it this part the control is gonna be right on top beyond this part so something like this and if you see here this part that plastic goes in that into that hole into that notch so it has a few all over the place and then this one is gonna click into that and we have them all around the door so now let's gonna push down and then pull together so now it's nice and flat and even all the way around now we're gonna do the hinges and now this is the left hinge you wanna go like that then one screw there and one screw over there and now we're gonna put the door back so just to show you this is a stud a pivot point and that's gonna go it's gonna go right here so we have to put it through it and it's gonna lock it over there let's do it bring this like that remember this goes outside so let's okay now that you put the door the hinge back where it belongs make sure that it opens and closes nice Okay, now we're gonna grab the wire, this plug, and then we're gonna put it right there where it belongs, align it, and then push. We connected the water supply line, turn the water on, connect the drain, and now we're gonna plug it in. And Look at that, we have power, it's working, awesome. Let's run a cycle. So that's it for today guys, thank you so much. I hope it was helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next video. Ciao Lin.